we've won Molokai five times together. Right? We've both been in the boat each time. Um, but I gotta say, that sixth place victory in 89 was almost better than any of the channel wins. Because by the time we won the channel in, in 95, we won it and it was sort of like a, finally. Yeah, we led that race for uh, probably three hours. And then youth kicked in, inexperience. And yeah. uh, we had a few problems and stuff like that and we ended up finishing sixth. But it was a huge victory for us. It was the first time we'd ever beat yeah. Outrigger. We were, uh, you know, we were right up with the, with, in the race. I mean, shoot, we, we led that thing to Lao Point with Tevo from Tahiti, you know, the Tahitians. For me, I mean, that may be the way it was for you, but for me, uh, that first win in 95 was, was the euphoric moment. Well, I sure. said almost. Because that know? was eight years of, of <laughs> hard labor. I was starting to think that we were never going to do it, really. Right, but we all were. You know, we've been <laughs> battling together for so long that uh, that we, we just think alike. I mean, you may notice that we're wearing the same shirt, and that wasn't <laughs> that was an accident. <laughs> so, um, uh, so I mean, I'm forevermore just been the relief steersman guy, but we always think the same. It seems like, and have the same ideas almost always uh, in steering and. And one thing that will drive you insane as a as a paddler is having a steersman behind you who is a bad steersman and it, or is is doing things that you know picking lines and picking courses and taking waves in such a way that you don't like and, uh, and that never happens with Jim. Like I like having him. In five, I mean, there's nobody else I like to have five more because right, same thing. He's thinking like I am. We're thinking together. We're just kind of a a team, if there's anybody you want to consult with, you know, I mean, he taught, I mean, he was kind of, he's my older brother, he's my mentor, right? So as I was paddling, it was, and he was a steersman, our other older brother was a steersman, so I was like, okay, I want to be like them, I want to be as good as them, I want to be as good as them. So now I got him sitting in the boat as my backup in five, kind of like, hey, John, am I doing all right? Is this what I should be doing? You know, I, I won't ask any, I mean, I'm not comfortable, most people sitting in five, you know, I don't have the comfort zone of, you know, going, hey, am I doing, you know, is this where I should be going? But, you know, sort of like, well, it's my, my older brother. He always tells me what to do, you know? You know, you go through a, through stages of, of um, development where you, you know, you hope you can win someday. And then, and then finally getting to the point where you know you can win, but you still don't. And then, uh, and then lining up and going, you know you're gonna win. Um, and then, you know, the crew evolves, the, 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 the commitment or the, the, uh, the abilities or everybody else, uh, you know, comes up to your, to your level or you drop down, whatever it is, and you start losing, you gotta go back to the drawing board and go, how are we gonna win again? Do you wanna win you win? You know, do you have it in you? Um, and that's always by far the hardest thing, uh, you know, uh, to, uh, to try to reinvent and figure out how you're going to get back there. I never thought that I'd be paddling competitively this long uh, after having had my family, after having won the, the, the channel a couple of times. Um, you know, okay, we'll give it an, you know another hail mary, and then I gotta you know I gotta quit. I gotta focus on my family. But next thing I know, my kids are of uh, of paddling age, and uh, and they want me to st still be down there on the beach. Now I gotta be the coach guy. For me, it's it it's actually a, w a way for me to release. You know, I may forget how much I really want it until I get out and I do it, I'm in the water, I paddle, and you, and, and you come back to the beach and you go, oh, that was so good. God, I love that. That keeps me alive. We've kind of pieced together a pathway. And, um, and, that, and it's not to beat the Tahitians. It's just to try to get 
close to their level or be at their level. You have to take baby steps. Everybody kind of sees uh, sees some method to the madness now rather than just going out and knocking your head against the wall without any real plan. The younger paddlers that we've got are, that are, are, uh, are seeing uh, a new um, resurgence is energizing, of course. And so it energizes the rest of the club too. We're really hoping so because we need all the support we can get in order to get these paddlers to just be able to paddle and not have to do all of the other logistics. So there's gonna be, have to be a lot of other guys stepping up from within the club that know they're not gonna be able to make the crew that instead are gonna take other roles and be part of it in that way.